Hello, so I am making this video tutorial to help beginners understand how to start in Unity when you're looking to build a template or a kit for alt space. So the first thing that you want to do is install the Unity Hub. So if you go to the web, go to Google, search for Unity Hub, you want to install that first, and then you want the 2019.4.2 F1 version. You don't want 2022.2.4 uh, yet because that's not um, compatible with alt space. So what you're looking for is this version here, 2019.4.2 F1. So once you install that, you also want to install the Unity Uploader for Alt Space. So I will share a link to this. There's a newer version out than what I have, but the one that I have works just fine. So these are just the first things you need to do to make sure that your machine is set up for the projects that you'll ultimately be doing in Unity. So once you have Unity Hub installed and you have this version, you can click on Unity Hub and you want to make sure that you're logged in. So on the Unity website, you'll create an account and you want to make sure that you retain that password because when you log into your hub, you're going to want to use that and make sure that you're logged in. And this helps because it will give you direct access to your assets in the Unity Asset Store from within your project. You can get to it from your browser at any time, but I like to just go right in um, from my project so I don't have to bounce back and forth between my browser and my project. So I'm going to start a new project just to show you what that looks like. So when I say new, I have two Unity versions installed. So you want to make sure you're picking the right version if you have more than one. So here I'm going to pick my 2019 version and then it's going to ask me what type of project am I looking to build. So here I'm going to stick with 3D, that's what I'm looking for, and then I'm going to give my project a name. So whatever you want to do, I'm just going to say demo project and create. So this is going to launch Unity. It'll take a minute or so, depends on your computer. It's just setting up the initial project platform. And then once it opens, there are a few things that we're going to do as far as project settings and adjustments to optimize it for use with alt space. Right out of the box, if I were to build in here, it would not work in VR. And it probably would not work in alt space. Okay, don't quote me on that, but there are some settings that we have to change in order to make it compatible with VR and with alt space. So I'm just going to ignore this little dialog box that's asking me to update my Unity. I'm going to close out of that. Now you can see it's opened a blank project. Every time you start with a clean slate in Unity and you have a blank project, you're going to start with your sample scene, main camera, and directional light. I'm not going to dive too deeply during this demo into settings for lighting and all of that. I'll get into some of that later on. Um, but for this one, I just want to show you how to set up your project so you can start building for alt space. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is change my platform. By default, the Unity projects are built for PC, but we want to change it because I want to use it for mobile and VR applications. So I'm going to come up here to File, and then I'm going to click on Build Settings. You see here, the first thing is selected under Platform, PC, Mac, and Linux. Well, I want to change that to Android. Okay, that's going to optimize it for mobile devices. So I'm going to click Android and come down here and say Switch Platform. And then I'm going to give it a minute to change. Okay, and once the build and build and run are shown, you're all set. You're now uh, building for the Android platform. Now, that does not mean 
that it's not going to build you a version of your file for PC and Mac. It actually will do that with the Alt Space Unity Uploader. So I'm going to show you that next. So I'm going to go down to my search bar and just say Uploader. I already have it installed. You can see here Unity Package File. Again, this is an older version, but it's working just fine for me. So I click on that package and then once I click on it right from my search bar, I, it pops up and I click on it. You can see that Unity recognized the files within it and it's asking me to import the Unity package. I'm gonna click on import here. I'm gonna take a few seconds. And if you've noticed, up here on my top toolbar, I now have an alt space VR tab. So if I open build settings, it's going to allow me to log in. There we go. Okay. So once I'm signed in, it will give me these options. You see alt space VR. There's your first sign that you're in the right place. And then it shows me template, kit, and settings. I like to take this tab and drag it up to the top next to my hierarchy. Now, hierarchy is always going to show you what's in your scene. Okay, so your scene is what you're building. You can have multiple scenes in any given project, but your scene is what you're working from. If you're building a world in alt space or you're building a kit, you're going to start with your hierarchy with all of your assets that are in your scene. So I have nothing right now. Um, here from the alt space VR tab, I can access all of my templates now that I signed. So it's going to communicate with alt space VR, and then I'm going to get a whole list of all the templates. This isn't even all of them. <laughs> so everything that I built as a template, I will have access to, and I can just click it from here. Um, but in, in this case, I don't want to do that. If I were, I would overwrite this template if I were to do anything here. Okay, let me pause this. So in this case, I don't want to overwrite my current template. So I'm going to create a new template. So when you do this from within your project, when you're logged in to Alt Space VR through your build settings, that allows you to even create a new template. So if I, so I'm just going to give this any old name, um, demo template for instruction. Okay, and that's all you really have to do. This automatically logs you into your um, AltSpace account. And then you can see it takes you to the templates page automatically, puts it under mine. And you don't really have to do anything else here. Um, you just give it a name and then click create template. So it'll tell you once it's been successfully created. It's really just naming it at this stage. And then I'm going to come back in here and click load your templates. Okay, so now I reloaded. I can see my demo template for instruction right here. So that's what I want to make sure I have selected so I don't overwrite anything else. And I mentioned earlier uh, that when we went to, to change the build settings, I mentioned that um, even though we're on Android, it would still create a PC and Mac version. That's what you're seeing down here for platform options. What this does is it makes sure that whatever you're building in here, you'll have um, an optimization for Android, for Windows, and for Mac, because of course they all have proprietary requirements and you want all three selected if you want the most amount of people to be able to access your world. So I always keep all three of these checked. So that's some of the basics, but we're not quite done yet. So I'm gonna go back to my hierarchy. I just use this as my resting place. It's like my bookmark. And I go up to edit project settings. So you wanna go up there. I'll do it a little more slowly. Edit, scroll down, project settings here. 
click in there and you're going to get this dialog box. Now you can see that it's a tab so you could drag it over and include it in your project window. I like to maximize my real estate and not have too many tabs taking up space and I don't really need this open all the time during editing. So I just open it and then close out of it once I make my changes. So the first thing I check is my player. So if you come down here in project settings, go down to player. If you scroll down to the bottom, um, here you can see we're on Android and we should have VR. Yeah, so virtual reality supported is checked. The reason why it is set this way right now is because I imported the Altspace the Unity uploader. That automatically applies these changes. If I had done that in a different order, let's say I went into the project settings before I imported my Altspace Unity uploader, I would have to manually make these changes. It would be automatically on PC and I'd have to come down to XR settings and do that myself. But because I uh, did it in the order that I showed you, this is already done for me. And you don't need to change any of these other settings. So single pass is what you want. That's just the rendering mode. That's the best mode to use for Android devices unless they're older and they don't support single pass. In that case, it'll automatically use multi-pass. So we don't need to get into nitty gritty of what that even means. You just need to know, ha have single pass selected here and make sure virtual reality supported is checked. Okay, so that's pretty much it for player. Now I just want to show you um, quality here because this does make a big difference in performance when we're talking about virtual reality templates and worlds. We need to be concerned about refresh rates. We need to be concerned about performance and rendering. So quality is an area where we can tell the system what quality we're looking to achieve. It always defaults at ultra. That's super high res, super high textures. It looks really, really nice, but it's very expensive to render. And you can use it for PC as long as people have good hardware. But for VR, they really recommend medium. Sometimes I'll go up to high. Um, I've tried very high before. And, and while I can view it in alt space, it sometimes freaks out, it looks like a bad ride, and I do better with medium or high. You will notice if you change these settings when you have something in your project, you'll notice that it starts to look different and simpler, and some of the finer details and textures are not gonna look quite as good. But that's what we get as a trade-off for mobile applications. Um, I will make a different tutorial later on that shows you how to do certain optimizations to reduce the file size and make it perform a little bit better in VR. They're mainly changes to lighting, textures, um, files, audio, if you use audio in your project. So we will get into that later on. I want to keep this pretty basic this time around. So here we are. Now you are set up, you have your build settings correct, you have your player settings with VR enabled, and you are logged in. You have your template, the correct one, demo template for instructions. So we are ready to begin.